Hi there. In this video, we will show you how to set up delivery zones and charge a delivery fee for your restaurant. We'll also walk you through the steps of how you can access your delivery heat map that shows you the most popular delivery areas as well as how you can create a free delivery promotion. Let's begin. First, we'll begin by accessing your restaurant's admin dashboard. Then, navigate to services and opening hours, followed by delivery. You need to click on Yes. Then on the Next button to enable the delivery service. In the screen that appears next, click Got It when you're ready. Then click on the Add Another Delivery Zone to start defining your delivery areas. You can zoom out of the map by pressing the minus sign to the top right of the map or zoom in by pressing the plus button. Drag the white markers around the circle of the highlighted zone outward to increase the size of the delivery zone. As you drop the markers, you'll realize that the area covered by the delivery zone is listed in miles and kilometers. To make the delivery zone smaller, drag and drop the white markers around the circle inward. Next, move to the top right of the screen and rename the zone to something that's more familiar to you and your food customers. Then, set a minimum delivery amount so that your customer's order value must be equivalent to or higher than that amount to be eligible for the delivery service. Then, add a delivery fee for that zone. It will be automatically added to the cart value once an address is inserted and it's detected by the system as being within that area. Delivery zones can also be defined by custom shapes rather than circles. To define your delivery zone with a shape, click on the Add Another Zone link. Then click on the Shape button. Begin by clicking on a spot on the map to set the first point of the shape. Move your mouse to the second spot on the map where you would like to place your next point, then click to set your second point. To complete your shape, ensure that the last point you set connects with the very first point you made. Give your shape a name. Then set a minimum delivery amount and delivery fee. You can also draw your delivery zones so that they overlap each other. If your zones overlap, our online ordering system will choose the one with the lowest minimum order value, then apply the delivery fee of that zone. If you have several zones with the same minimum order value, then the one with the lowest delivery fee will be applied. You can hide a delivery zone so that it's no longer available to your customers by clicking on the zone that you want hidden, then click on the Hide Zone icon. You'll notice that the hidden delivery zone becomes grayed out. Once you're ready to restart your delivery service to that zone, click on the Show Zone icon. You can also delete a delivery zone by selecting the zone you want to delete, then click on the Delete button. Click Yes to confirm the deletion. Move to the bottom right of the screen and click on the Advanced Settings button to configure your delivery settings. In the screen that appears next, there should be two options, Order Outside Delivery Area and Delivery Address Form. The Order's Outside Delivery Area lets you decide whether you would like to allow customers outside of the delivery zone you defined to place orders for delivery. If the option is turned off, only customers in your predefined delivery zones will be able to place delivery orders. We recommend keeping the option to accept orders outside of your delivery area enabled because you may miss out on potential customers that are trying to place orders for delivery just outside the borders of your delivery area. 
In any case, you can always reject the order from the order taking app if it appears to be coming from too far outside of your delivery area. In the Delivery Address Form section, you can choose to use the default delivery form, which only includes the customer's town or city area, street name and number, and their postcode, block, or intercom number. If you want to add more fields to the delivery form, click the Custom Selection button. From there, you'll be able to add additional fields like postcode or zip code, block, building, floor, and apartment number. Next, click on the Save button to apply the changes to the delivery form. Then, click on Next to save the delivery zones. Let's take a look at how the delivery address form looks to your clients. For a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can accept or reject online food orders and what happens when you miss out on orders, please click on the suggested video that just popped up on the screen. Once the customer selects delivery as an option, they'll need to fill out their delivery address, which will also include the custom fields you enabled in the delivery address form section. The street name and number, town or city area, postcode, zip code are mandatory and required by our system and cannot be disabled. After the customer has entered their address, they'll need to click the continue button. They will then be directed to a map where they'll be asked to drag the PIN to indicate their exact location. Optionally, they can skip the PIN location step by clicking the Skip option. After they've moved the PIN to their exact location, they'll need to click Done to finalize the placement on the map. They must then click the Save button to move to the next step in the checkout process. A pop-up message will be displayed advising the client of the restaurant delivery fee for their location as well as their new cart total. Within our restaurant order taking system, we collect the data of all your deliveries and combine them in a heat map report. To access this data, navigate to the reports icon to the left of the restaurant admin dashboard and select extended, followed by delivery heat map. You can zoom out of the report by clicking the minus button to the top right of the screen. Or zoom in by clicking the plus icon. The report can be fine-tuned to show delivery orders over 24 hours, 7 days, or 1 in 3 month periods. The brighter colored regions indicate areas with higher delivery orders, and the darker colored regions pinpoint areas where delivery orders are less frequent. You can choose to attract more customers from the areas with less orders by creating a free delivery promotion. To create this offer, go to the Promotion section in your Restaurant Admin panel. Then click on Self-Made Promotion. Next, click on Add Promo Deal. In the screen that appears, click on the Next button to the right of the free delivery promotion.
Here, you can change the headline for the promotion, give the promotion a description, and even change the promotion's picture. You can use one of our free food stock images or you can upload your very own. Click on the Next button to continue setting up the promotion. To offer free delivery, the discount percent must be set to 100. If you want to offer another deal, for example, half off the delivery fee, you would need to set the discount percent to 50. Then set a minimum order value. This means that the customer must spend at least the inserted value to be eligible for the promotion. Then click Next. You can set the promotion to be available to new clients, returning clients, or both. The promotion can also be applied to all of your delivery zones or to specific delivery zones. Click on the Save button and finalize the promotion. Under the Status column, click the slider to make the promotion available to your customers. You can see what the promotion will look like to your clients by clicking the Preview button. Click Preview again to access the restaurant widget. Once the promotion is active, a new section will appear to the top of the restaurant menu widget with the image and promotion name and description you selected earlier. If the promotion was made available to all delivery zones, it will be applied automatically to the checkout cart. A pop-up will then be displayed to the bottom of the menu, advising food customers that the deal has been applied. If the promotion was set up to a particular delivery zone, the promotion will only be applied once the client enters their delivery address. The conditions for the promotion are also listed in the checkout cart for your clients to see. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more great Gloria Food tutorials and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.